The Princess of Wales, Catherine, was recently seen boarding a budget flight to Scotland with her two youngest children, Princess Charlotte and Prince Lewitz. The family was heading to Balmoral, where they will join the king for the royal family's traditional summer holiday. In a display of modesty, Catherine opted for an economy flight to Inverness Airport before continuing on to Balmoral Castle. Princess Charlotte and Prince Lewitz accompanied her, while Prince William and their eldest son, Prince George, did not join them on this leg of the journey. However, it is believed that the family later reunited in the Scottish Highlands to spend their holiday together. A fellow passenger, who discreetly captured a video of Catherine and her children, shared their observations from the flight. Catherine and both kids were seated just two rows in front of me, along with their security detail, the passenger noted. They could have easily taken a private jet or helicopter, but they kept it simple, flying economy. The passenger also mentioned that Catherine got up during the flight to retrieve her daughter's iPad, a moment that highlighted her hands-on approach to parenting. Despite the presence of the royal family on board, passengers respected their privacy, and no photos or videos were taken. The atmosphere on the plane was described as calm, with a slight buzz due to the unexpected royal encounter. Upon arrival, Catherine was seen in a green skirt and jacket, wearing sunglasses as she walked across the tarmac holding Princess Charlotte's hand. The young princess carried a pink overnight bag, while Prince Lewitz followed closely behind with a blue backpack. This trip to Balmoral comes at a particularly poignant time for the Princess of Wales, who has recently been undergoing cancer treatment. As a result, many of Catherine's summer plans have been uncertain, and she has stepped back from most of her royal duties to focus on her recovery. Her appearance at Balmoral is expected to be a significant moment, providing her with a much-needed respite and an opportunity to spend quality time with her family in the tranquil Scottish Highlands. Catherine's attendance at Balmoral follows a challenging period, both personally and for the royal family as a whole. Last week, before her trip was confirmed, royal expert Jenny Bond commented on the significance of the Balmoral gathering, stating, It's been one heck of a year for the royal family so far, and nothing would please the king more than to have his close family gathered together in the peace of Balmoral. It's a time to take stock together, mark the passing of incredibly difficult months, and look to the future. Bond also noted the uncertainty surrounding Catherine's health, saying, Cancer treatment brings with it a large measure of uncertainty, and that must extend to whether she is able to spend part of the summer holidays at Balmoral. If she does go, I'm sure the whole family will want to surround her with love, support, and renewed strength. For William and Catherine, Balmoral holds deep personal significance. The Scottish estate is where their romance blossomed during their university years and is also a place of emotional memories for William, as it was where he learned of his mother Princess Diana's death. Additionally, the late Queen Elizabeth II passed away there in 2022, adding another layer of sentiment to the royal residence. While Catherine is expected to be present at Balmoral this summer, there are ongoing rumours that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle might also make an appearance with their children. Such a visit would mark a rare reunion of the royal siblings and could help build bridges within the family during this reflective time. As the Princess of Wales continues her recovery, the trip to Balmoral provides a much-needed escape and a chance for the family to come together in a place filled with history, memories, and the promise of healing.